Okay, hyperspace wormholes. Now, what could that mean? Now, if physics, or if you study physics, you would know that there's this thing called a wormhole. And what it does is that as one person would enter the wormhole, he would somehow instantly teleport to another side of the galaxy, all at instantaneous speed. Okay, now, how that happened was Einstein published his paper on the general theory of relativity. Okay, but I just want to show to you how a mathematician might look at it or even suggest that the theory might exist in terms in the realm of mathematics even before Einstein published his book on relativity. Okay, so how does this go? Now, you look up any calculus book, you have this. In the limit, the differential arc length is equal to square root dx squared plus dy squared. Okay, now this result is obviously very easy to show. All you need to do is you take a change in x squared equals to a change in change in s squared equals to a change in x squared plus a change in y squared like this. Okay, so you will just bring the square root over and take the limit. Okay, no problem for that. So the differential arc length is equals to dx squared plus dy squared square root. Okay, so how does this idea of a wormhole come? Well, let's just look at a curve like that. Okay. Let's just look, and we are at zero over here, and the curve goes around like this. Okay, let's call this point P, okay, and let's call this point Q, and this occurs when x dash, or when x equals to x dash. Okay, so now, you always have a common question, how can you travel from point P to point Q? Well, one way is through the arc length, am I not wrong? Am I not right? Sorry, you go along the arc length over here, over here like this okay but there's another way which is a bit more interesting or which is a bit more common when you ask what's the shortest distance between two points and that is to travel straight like that okay uh, let's call this point C so you can you can travel a straight path and you can travel around the arc length okay now it's sure it should be obvious right that S is more than C Okay, so you take the normal way, or you, you travel the normal way in, in space, okay, you will take longer than you take C. The other less obvious result would be the limit as the x dash tends towards zero. So as x dash tends towards zero, the ratio between the two, okay, which is S over C, okay, would be more than or equal to one. Okay, I hope you can see that. Let me just explain to you briefly because whatever the case may be, we know that x s sorry s is always longer than c right so as the x dash tends towards zero the two paths will converge 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 until they're equal to one but we put more than or equal to one because like i said s we think that s is the longer way okay uh, to whatever point i mean c you always know as the, the straight point and that's the shorter way so the ratio of s to c is more than or equal to one okay now all this is fine if we stay in the real plane, okay? If we stay in the real plane. So, if we introduce the complex plane, things, we will get a certainly a bizarre result, and we shall show it to you. Now, there's gonna be one problem, and the problem is, it's difficult to sketch, or it's impossible to sketch a complex function. What do I mean by that? Y, y equals to x plus ix, x squared plus ix over here like this. It means that if you take a value of x, such as over here, you need to represent y, which is a complex number because of the imaginary number, along the line here like this, right? Now, as you know, that is quite impossible not to be confused with z equals to x plus i y. Okay, I hope you see the difference. Z equals to x plus i y is that we represent the complex number z in the, in the plane given by the x and y coordinates. x is on the real plane, y is on the imaginary plane. But to have a function like this, we need to represent y in, in like in y. I mean, we need to represent the complex number in the axis of y. And as far as I'm concerned, or as far as I've studied complex numbers, that is impossible. But nonetheless, it is still possible to do the, the relation, to do the mathematics on algebra, forgetting about the complex plane. If you would like to compare it to physics, sometimes you can't sketch the wormhole the wormhole principle in physics, it would just like we say from Earth to Pluto is about 100 feet. Now we know that is not true, okay? But we can still do the algebra without um, having to sketch the graph. Now, so this, so we're looking at this result, as this tends towards this, S over C, the ratio is more than one. So, 
S is still the longer way. We haven't exactly time traveled yet because the everything seems to be in perfect working order. Now we let the function y equals to x plus i okay x squared plus imaginary x. Okay, so this is the function we are concerned with, and now we're gonna do the, the algebra to really find what this thing is if there's such a abnormal result. Okay, so this was the one over here. Now, first calculate the arc length. Arc length. So we're taking the point from 0 to x dash. So it's integrate, as you all will know, okay, x dash over here, right? Okay, and then it's 1 over 1 plus dy dx squared. Okay, you just, just study algebra, you will know this formula, the arc length. Okay, so we need to differentiate x with respect to, no, sorry, we need, we need to differentiate y with respect to x. Our y function is here, so that will give us x squared, sorry, x dash, the square root of 1 plus, so we differentiate this, we get 2x plus x, sorry, 2x plus i, okay, and then that's a squared there, okay, it's equal to integrate from 0 to x dash of 1 plus, so we got 4, x squared plus 4x squared plus 4i 4ix minus 1 okay so yeah this is square root here dx sorry with respect to x I keep on forgetting that but let's just look at what we have and then integrate from 0 to x dash okay this cancels out with this and then we got and then we can bring out the 4 we bring out the 4 okay so we got root 4, which is... Okay, let's just keep the 4 inside there. So this cancels out with this. So we got 4x squared plus 4ix. Okay, see why in a minute. Okay, dx. Okay, so this is what we have over here. Okay, I need to clear some of the boards. So just remember this, okay? Okay, so this is what we got. Now, remember that we are dealing with a change in x, okay? We will change in x over here, which is from here to here. And we always want to investigate the nature of the point over here like this. So logically, we want to bring the x dash over here, which will also mean that I would want to try to take the limit of this one over here to really, really approximate what this integral is. You know, x is, is a lot of values, but we are really concentrating at the, the what happens at this point. This interesting point here to see whether the time travel is possible or whether the mathematical wormhole exists. Okay, so we got this one over here. Now, s x dash tends towards 0, as this tends towards this. We can approximate this, okay? So we approximate. So s is now approximately equal to, now as x dash tends towards 0, this one would tend towards 0 faster than this term over here, okay? So what I'm going to try to do is that I'm going to just take this, this term as 0 because it's already tend towards 0 faster than this one over here. So we got the square root of just this one over here. So it would be integrate 0 to x dash, okay, of the square root of 4i, okay, and square root of x. Okay, dx. And then now we can proceed and do the integration, okay, which I will leave as 4i root, sorry, root 4i. Now we want to integrate this, okay, which would be 1 half, so plus you get 3 over 2, sorry, 2 over 3, okay, and x, 3 over 2. And then we will just substitute the thing inside here, we get this one like that. Okay, so quite a quite a okay number to handle so remember this is s the arc length as you travel from here to here from p to q the arc length s so that is the usual way now what happens if we take the shorter way which is c in the diagram okay well let's just investigate what we have